Hi YouTube, Daranak is back. Um, I'm actually doing a response video to certain parts of of, of a video by um, the user 1P Brain. Um, her video is called RRT, which uh, for her channel stands for uh, Roundtable Tuesday. Um, every Tuesday, she has a little roundtable discussion with a few friends of hers. Um, the video is an hour long. That's why I'm only going to address certain things in it. Uh, the title is Marriage, Divorce, uh, um, Marriage, Divorce, and Adoption by Gay People. Um, to, um, I'm actually really mainly going to address uh, one of the people in the round table and his name is Eric. Um, the first part of the video, which is like the first like 20 minutes of it, they they talk about divorce. Um, all three of them are Christians, and all three of them consider it uh, uh, consider the Bible with almost everything that that they believe in. Um, so with the clips that I'm going to play, you're probably going to hear bi uh, biblically a lot. Um, so let's start with the first clip. Now boys all day, every day. Now <laughs> exit it, next to the next topic. Oh my goodness. Have you guys heard that they want Bert and Ernie to be, um... Yes, yes. Come out. They want Bert and... You've they heard that? They want them to come out of the they club. Want Bert oh, I heard that. Why is that even valid? I mean, why why would that even be on the, on the LGBT committee's because agenda? It is a another attack on marriage. It is a a literal attack on marriage. But to tell you the truth, I never I remember watching um, Sesame Street, and I didn't think that they promoted heterosexual marriages. I Neither mean, one. I, they, they're yeah. puppets. Yes, and, and they never ever, I watched them also growing up, and I, I, I never, I didn't, get, I didn't get that. I never questioned their sexuality. Never. So all of a sudden, you know, now they, now they want to define their sexuality. Why is that important? They're puppets. They're puppets. But that goes to show that marriage is under attack. Marriage was uh, an institution that was brought forth biblically. Uh, no, Eric, the, uh, the concept of marriage, the joining of two or more people in, in an extended relationship has been around for more than 10,000 years. Um, as far back as like our recorded records actually go, there are many different concepts of marriage. Um, some some cultures had marriage in between two men, two women, between one man and multiple women, between one woman and multiple men. The concept of marriage did not come around biblically. Again, here we are with the way of the world. Uh, the world is is okay with same sex marriages. The world is okay with the gay lifestyle and all of that. All of those things that are in conflict with the biblical uh, blueprint for marriage. And now it's okay so that the world is politically correct now for all of those things, gay, uh, lesbianism, homosexuality, uh, uh, all of these things are now considered in the mainstream, okay and cool. They're even not only has it has has it reached the Sesame Street, but they're in our public schools. They are now having uh, recognizing gay gay. Uh, Eric, as a homosexual myself, 
it's not a choice and it's not a lifestyle I did not choose to be attracted to men and there are women who are homosexual did not that did not choose to be attracted to other women um, as far as it becoming more accepted that's a damn good thing because there's been a lot of bigotry and rights not associated to people who are attracted to people of the same sex because of bigotry because of not understanding that it is not a choice um, I really don't care what it says in your holy text uh, about what is right and what is wrong because I hold no validity for your holy text or really any any holy text at all um, as far as the gay week thing is uh, that was only a few schools that participated in the gay week which was a week to promote um, the accomplishment of those that were homosexual and to show how much bigotry has actually been shown to those that are homosexual. It wasn't really forced upon any students. Um, it, it was something for them to learn. You know, like there's Black History Month, um, where black people are, are, are talked about and their accomplishments. It, it's the same thing. Biblically. So again here we are with the way of the world uh, the world is, is okay with same-sex marriages the world is okay with the gay lifestyle and all of that all of those things that are in conflict with the biblical uh, blueprint for marriage and now it's okay so that the world is, is political Okay, I know that I'm reiterating re myself, but it's not a choice and it's not a lifestyle. <coughs> um, the reason why I wanted to play this this clip was to address um, what you consider uh, bibli biblically what marriage is. Um, according to your Bible, uh, marriage is one man dominating one or more women in a marriage. That means that one man can actually have more than one wife. And since the Bible promotes polygamy, the only place that it talks about one man and one woman was in a letter that Paul wrote telling the priest how they should act. He was making a case that priests should only be married to the church but if their sexual drive is too much for them, then they should have one wife. Other than that, um, the Bible clearly promotes polygamy. I really do. Now, I also, uh, and I'm not playing both sides of the fence, I believe that people have a right to do and be what they want to do and be. They have a right to However. choose their lifestyle. But they should, they should not benefit from the establishment of what God had ordained or, or called to be. God called for marriage um, between a man and a woman. That's what a marriage is. Two gays, Homosexual. homosexuals, um, cannot be married. It's not a marriage. They can, be, they can have a relationship. It's not marriage. It's not marriage. And I don't believe they should receive uh, the benefit of married people. Okay. Do you believe? Okay. The ben What do you mean the benefit of married people? Eric, do you know that according to your book that you're supposed to kill um, unruly children? Do you know that you're not supposed to eat shellfish? Do you know that you're not supposed to wear two different types of fabric? Do you know that uh, you're supposed to kill a lot of people? Just wondering. 
the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there's a lot in your book book that that you should be doing, including killing gay people. Um, if if you don't believe me, sit down and read Deuteronomy 22. Um, but why, you know, why should we follow your holy text? your book that speaks about Yahweh um why what evidence is there that your the deity of that book actually exists and that that deity of that book actually endorses what's in that book that's something that no theist has actually ever accomplished you know you know actually proving that their deity actually exists I have a real problem when somebody holds up their their holy text uh, to deny rights to to people because of what's in there with no basis for it. You know, just why is it that you, as a heterosexual man, can go out and meet a random woman on the street, um, go downtown? Uh, somewhere on Market Street I forget where it's at on Market Street and get married you know that day but I as as a homosexual male that is in love with another man no matter no matter how long we've been together no matter no matter what kind of life we have built up why can we not get married and have the same benefits of married heterosexuals. I just I have issues with two homosexuals who have ability to adopt a child and call that a marriage and a family. I I, I struggle mightily so with you, that. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let me, because I'm probably, there's a disconnect somewhere in what I'm understanding. So, if you have a, a man and a woman who are married, and she's barren, she cannot have children, and they adopt. Is that a family? Yes. If you have a homosexual partnership, and they adopt, is that a family? I don't consider that a family. What is it? Is a single parent without, if a single parent is raising children without the co parent, is that a family? I'm a single mother. I have children. I'm an active parent. I raise my voice. Are we a family? Me and my children? Yes. So we're a family, although we're void of a husband uh, uh, and a father in the household. We're, what makes, wait a minute, what makes us a family. Because you are the parent and the child. And okay. so if So if the husband or father is missing now if he's missing for whatever reason that he's missing He's just not there. Yeah. For he's whatever reason. With Negro. No, that, all Negroes well, we, are not yes, they all are. Negroes are not okay, all the males point, the, are not I, I don't I, I don't want you to try to, to, to to skate by this. I'm not skating. What you said is that you don't consider homo two hom a homosexual partnership and the adoption of a child, you do not consider that unit a family. So what I'm trying to find out is if that is not a family and you consider a two-parent heterosexual household with children a family and you consider um, a single mother... I, think, I would I'm say it's a broken family. It's not a whole family. What defines family? What is your definition of family? A um, um, mother, father, children, sometimes uh, uh, extended members. I, that's what I consider a family. So, and, and and maybe I maybe because that's what I'm I what I know. That's how I grew up. So that's natural to me. We can't keep using that excuse. Well, that's, well, that's what's natural to me. It, it, you know, I had a father, I had a mother, I had my siblings, so that's what I 
grew up knowing to be family. Well, let me, let me ask you this. You said your mother and father were together. Yes. While you grew up. Yes. So, if your mother and father were together when you grew up, how did them being together or her being a single parent or two homosexuals being together make it any different? How did, how did you have any parents make any difference in the route that you took as you got older? What made that better? Be just because you still took a route that I'm sure they wouldn't have wanted you to take. So, because you took that route, what made your situation better than people with the same sex parents? Um, I blame the, that as a part of decision making. Of course. You know, my course. decision. I chose. To, now, I chose to do the things that I did. To, to take me where they took me. Of course. That was no reflection on my parents. There's no reflection on my parents. And, and having a, a, a structured parent or, or family setting mm -hmm. does not exclude people from going to uh, wind up in prison or wind up in on drugs right. or you know whatever whatever they or or scholars. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't you know everyone. Everyone is responsible for their own life. Do you think that a, a homosexual couple should be allowed to adopt children? I do not. So the alternative is allow this child to not have a loving home. Wait a minute, let me finish. Christian, let me, wait a minute, let I me do finish. Not. Right. It does okay, Christian, Jew, Hindu, Muslim. Okay. I'm talking about as a, a a logically speaking you have a child who is in a foster care system or you know orphan and we already know what goes on in, in those systems it fails the children so you have a homosexual couple who wants to adopt and give this kid a chance at life education, health insurance, a home, conversation, um, support, encouragement, all of those things that are vital to success in life, vital to a healthy emotional state. And because the couple who wants to adopt them is homosexual, you say sorry, but you keep your ass right where you at. Not, that's basically, not, that's not hard. In those terms. But, okay, well, but you, that's But hard. you have to look at, what is that saying? No, what I'm asking that, you, is that what you're saying? But you have to look at what is that saying when we allow... We don't, people were created with free will. Yes, but when that, when that is done, what is that saying? That's saying that it's okay. What do you think is going to, do you think that if a child is brought up in a homosexual household that is going to deter them from finding out who God is, that, that, think, that they're going to be gay too? You think, think that's how it I runs think, off? I think it can. I, I think it does. So I then you're, the you, limit, you limit the power of God when you no, think that way. No, I don't limit the power of God. It's, it's, it's just like this. <clears throat> I don't want my child, I don't want my child to grow up and, and become a drug addict. Okay. Do you keep this, your child locked in the house? No, I don't. But I, but there are things that I do not do purposely. Just because you don't do them doesn't mean he won't be exposed to them. This is true. But you again, know that, again, if, the, the 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 likelihood of them doing whatever reduces if it's not. Okay, but in you the have house. you have you you if are very child, political at not answering the question. If my what, child, what I uh, <laughs> what I ask you is that. Okay, this is what I asked you. Whether or not you believe that a child should stay in the foster care system, remain an orphan, just because the parents, the people who want to adopt this kid, happen to be a homosexual couple, is that worse than saying, stay an orphan, um, they're homosexual, they should not be allowed to adopt. So therefore, you don't have, this is your life right here. Because how many children have you adopted being a heterosexual man? I haven't adopted any. Okay, so are you willing to help out since you are against homosexuals adopting? It has been considered, yes. 
But we, we, and how long have you been considering it? Because uh, children need to be adopted today. Yeah, we, we've considered it uh, a couple of times throughout our, our lives. Yeah, we have. But I need you to answer the question. I don't think that children, homosexuals, should adopt children. I don't think that they should. No, I don't. That's my answer to the question. Now, the reason why I played that that extended clip was is, was was because I really wanted the entire conversation to be put out there. Uh, Eric, thank you for actually being honest that you just truly don't want. Um, homosexuals to adopt children. Thank you for being honest about that and not holding up your Bible and saying, well, the Bible done says is, is, is against God. Thank you for actually just saying what, what you felt. Now, why? Why exactly should um, I, as a homosexual, not be not be allowed to marry and not adopt children. Do you know that that there are cases of of, of homosexuals who do adopt children? That in their states, that it is legal for them to adopt children. And do you know what the studies have said on children that have been raised by homosexual parents? That the hardest thing that they actually have to deal with is prejudice from outside of the family. People being bigots to their parents because they are homosexual is is the biggest thing that those children have to deal with. And I would like for you to just think about that for a moment. Bigotry outside of the family is what they have to deal with the most because other people cannot mind their own business. Is, is what they actually have to deal with. Now, Eric, I would like to hear from you like um, exactly what negative effects uh, gay parents have on children and, and if that is actually a strong enough case for homosexuals not to be allowed to adopt. Um, I disagree wholeheartedly with male and male and male relationships, sexual relationships, female and female sexual relationships. I disagree with it. They're not natural. And by allowing these, yeah, you shake your head all you want. By allowing these relationships to 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 exist, I think it does a disservice to the children because now they're growing up confused as to what is right and what is wrong as far as relationships. So they're growing up that it's natural for okay, it's natural for men or two men to to, to, to uh, um okay, what so I now. need to know is it, I, I don't know what the statistics are of heterosexual now households, how does, wait a minute, how does heterosexual, heterosexual, heterosexual households that, um, for lack of a better term, forgive my ignorance, produce gay children. I don't know how many gay children leave heterosexual homes. Because see, to me, if I, and I'm going to research that because that would kind of blow your theory out of the water to believe that just because you have a gay couple that raises a child that automatically See, first of all, whether they're a homosexual couple, a heterosexual couple, a asexual couple, it doesn't matter. Life and the personal choices that this individual person makes is going to dictate what road they go. And I don't exactly. limit. I don't limit the power of God. Just like I don't believe that parents who were ex-drug addicts um, should should not be allowed to raise children just because. Okay, Eric. If, if homosexuality is not natural and, um, and um, us homo sapiens sapiens, which is part of Kingdom Alemannium, um, um, how is it that homosexuality 
has been recorded in more than 500 animals in Kingdom Alamanium, how is it that homosexuality has been recorded in every single society that we have records for. Just wondering, if, if it's not natural, why is it in nature? Um, I would like to hear a video reply from, from you, if, if at all possible, if you have your own YouTube channel or not, I don't know. But um, I would really like to hear back from you on the points that I've made here. Um, everybody, have a good day. Um, bye.